Railroad fans gathered at the FGH Gymnasium on Olds College campus to take in the Mountain View Model Railroad Club's annual show and sale. And, uh, members uh, can be uh, any walk of life. Uh, any level of expertise from brand new beginner um, youth right up to seniors. Um, the idea of the club is to provide a, a location uh, for people to operate their own equipment. Uh, also to be able to uh, share construction ideas, uh, building practices. Um, you know we are not any one of us in particular has answers to every every problem. Uh, we all uh, we all bring a little to the table and uh, share our, our knowledge. Uh, I'm personally model in HO, uh, although I do have over to to our side here a little N scale layout that I I play with uh, at the shows because it's small. Uh, if I was to put that on in HO, it would be on a 4x8 table. This is a 2x4 table, so it's easy to pick up and carry. Um, and I enjoy the challenges of the finer, finer modeling. There are um, modelers that model in even smaller scales. Um, there's Z and there's TT, which are uh, proportionally smaller again. And uh, there's a layout right behind us, here, behind the camera here, uh, that is British O scale. scale. And uh, you know it's it, it's limited to to what uh, space you have really. A uh, person in an apartment would probably go with N scale because you can put a lot in a small area. A uh, person with a huge mansion could go O scale or even bigger. Uh, they have what's called G scale or garden railway, and literally you that that can be used outdoors. And a lot of people do have their layouts running on the outdoors, and you can run it summer and winter. You can find uh, a scale and, and uh, an avenue within uh, railroading to, to do it. In addition to trains, visitors were able to watch various types of model building in progress. The original Gundam storyline came out just a little bit before the original Transformers did. The uh, producer of both Gundam and Transformers were really close friends, which is why you see a lot of similarities. Maybe a, about a week. Mm -hmm. You know, the time you wait for the paint to dry, why not? And then other little things. 66 is a pretty interesting Canadian asset. It's one of the last surviving large mainline steam locomotives in Canada. Uh, as I mentioned, it's the largest steam locomotive in Canada. I uh, feel really privileged to be amongst the, the group of people who are in charge of maintaining her. Uh, we have a full qualified volunteer operating crew that operates her. Uh, we work in conjunction with Alberta Prairie Railway in Stettler. Uh, Alberta Prairie runs a passenger excursion service during the summer months. Uh, steam pulled, runs between Stettler and Big Valley. Uh, they have their own small steam locomotive that runs the train most of the time. Uh, for about 10 runs a year or so, we'll use 6060 to pull the train instead. Like I said, pretty important piece of Canadian history. There aren't too many engines of that type that are left around. Uh, really only three of its class that are would be in operational condition to date so we, we feel again very privileged to have the engine in Alberta and to, to be able to preserve and operate it. Rick Astle, a local member of the club, filled us in on what was happening with the organization. Uh, is to uh, come down to the Didsbury Museum uh, on a Saturday uh, preferably 
uh, but they can come down any day it's open and actually um, see the train and actually operate it. Uh, it, uh, it will run uh, without anybody there. There's a uh, push button out front and it'll, the train will go around once and stop. Uh, yeah, uh, if people want to get a hold of me, I live right in Olds. Um, and uh, I can be contacted by phone or email or you can go to the club's website uh, which is uh, mvmrc which is Mountain View Model Railroad Club dot ca and uh, your contact information is there our schedule of meetings is there and um, the Feel free to drop by. You don't have to join to come and look. Uh, you can come and look and make a decision on whether you want to join. Uh, and uh, you don't have to uh, feel that you need uh, need any particular skills. Um, we're there to help, and uh, we're looking for help all the time too. So you might uh, you might love to to build trees or to build uh, houses and stuff like that. And um, we certainly could use all of that. The club invites visitors to their display at the Didsbury Museum and encourages anyone with an interest to check them out and consider becoming members. Old Community TV, your go-to channel for news and information in Olds, Alberta.